All right, just playing a bit of uh, Momir today. It's the uh, it's, uh, midweek magic. So uh, this is the one where we get random creatures every turn, basically. Right, and there are a, a bunch of non-land cards in the deck, usually removal type things. Uh, so you could you could play a turn one creature, but I think uh, I'm going to start making creatures on turn three. The turn three gambit. And it helps that I've gone first as well. Try and evaluate these cards and see if uh, what kind of thing we might play. So that's uh, that could be a protection card for something important. That removal card could definitely be quite good. Uh, three. He managed to get a three-one creature. So that's not bad. That's a that's a clock. Um, but we're, we're definitely going to make something. Uh, so we'll drop the extra mountain. Try and make sure we've got one of each colour if possible. Alright, oh, each player sacrifices a creature. Cool. <laughs> Uh, we can definitely cast our Savage Smash. That might be quite good. This is going to get him a Power Stone. That's, uh, that's pretty nice for the factory. This is, uh, yeah, it's just a 2-2 creature at this point. It's not, it's not terrifying. I think uh, I think I'll discard this. We got a signpost scarecrow. Okay. <laughs> hey, at least we uh, we're missing blue mana. This could make blue mana for me. That's something. Oh yeah, that's not even a token creature. That was something he had in his hand. He gets a five drop. Oh, 4-3 haste, that's nice. Yep, that gets through. That's an island. <coughs> so, make a 5 drop. Oh, we could Savage Smash and uh, Tactics. Let's make a 5 drop. Okay, that can do direct damage. Seems reasonable. This has Vigilance, let's attack with it. I suppose I don't really want to trade off uh, this guy in the Village Watch. Well, he's got a flyer now, I think I... This is where we consider using some removal. So 
would be four six. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Just realise it, it won't actually be strong enough to kill it. Uh, in that case. I think we'll we will play a land. We won't mow mere. Uh, uh no tax. Perfect. Oh have a nice card. We actually have Dire Tactics. I lose life equal to that creature's toughness. It just has a nice uh, 7 toughness. Okay, I think uh, on balance I do just have to trade off for this. I can't afford to just take damage. Um, yeah, I think let's we don't have a human, unfortunately. We'll lose seven life. I say it's worth it. And we Momir for seven. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Okay. Rhino Warrior, and um, I'll gain five life because I'm kind of low. He has a seven, seven. Okay. This is the one that makes a 1-1 one, one every turn. Right, I think we'll just keep making 7 mana things. That's reasonable. And swing with this. Okay, all for first strike, vigilance, life link. And I can take out my flyer. Nice. Well, that is a blocker for it, I suppose. that gigantomancer oh wow for one mana you can make anything a 7-7 seven, seven. you can make his entire board 7-7s seven, Absolutely battered. So yeah, just everything's a seven seven. Um we can't we have to block three of them. 
otherwise we die. Uh, it's not it's not a great situation. Okay, I think, and that thing is seven seven first strike as well. Oh, when Lord Xander dies, target opponent sacrifices half the non-land permits they control. Rounded down. Okay. Well, everything can be a uh, can be a seven seven. So, <clears throat> and this, I think this thing gets through. It's just too much of a pain to deal with. So. We've got to block two of them. I think we'll do it like this. Yeah, he doesn't want to kill uh, this guy because then he has to sacrifice us half his permanence. Does he mow me for five? You may as well because it's it's going to be a guaranteed seven seven. Just needs bodies at this point. Hello, that's that's a seven three. Bit attacked or blocked to get the shuffle back. Okay. Now our blessed engineers can do one damage to any target. I can kill. Our, oh, except he can he target himself? Yes, he can target himself. Well, that's annoying. Let's make him mill half his library. Okay, we've got a moment for seven, I think. Okay, yeah, Verdant Sun's Avatar, that's a pretty good one. Uh, so yeah, again, we're getting hit by 377s. Seven that's getting shuffled back in. We've got to block two of them. I guess we'd like to keep this alive because this is gaining us lots of life potentially each turn. Uh, that's a token creature, so it's just going to. Uh, oh. Well, the permits you control have indestructible. Your Avacyn is literally the best thing you can hit in this. I have I've run into it before. So, yeah, that's that's a very stupid card, really. Um, okay, first, uh, right, let's just, just attack him with that. Might as well block it. Okay, let's go with seven drop again. This game could go on for a while if I can keep just gaining lots of life. Oh, nice one. Seven life, please. Uh, ooh. I could just put these all to the bottom see if I hit a card with mana value. 
I did as well. Again, four more life. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Uh, it's not going to kill Avacyn though. Cause it's only seven damage. Um, right. Interesting thing. Um, I can actually take quite a lot of damage here. I could mill half his deck. And if he kills it, he loses, loses half his permanence. Non land permanence. I think I can just keep attacking with Lord Sander. And um, he probably has. A d has difficulty dealing with it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Just keep attacking with Lord Sander. So yeah, dies, he loses all of these, so obviously that's indestructible. It hasn't been, didn't get shuffled back in unfortunately, the timing was, oh, cause it happens at end of turn doesn't it? At least he's lost the, uh, the power thing. Right, so we're taking actually 22 damage here. Um, so yeah, none of, um, He's going to get through with at least two creatures next turn as well. So another 15 damage next turn. It's a question of whether I get much benefit from... Blocking that. Maybe I do. I'm going to take 15... Oh yeah, because um, then he can just win in the air next turn, probably. Let's, let's just block like that. But yeah, these are probably two of the best things you can hit, Gigantomancer and Amazon. But those These are, of course, eight mana, and I've, I've just been doing the seven mana thing. It does help when you've got a power stone. Gets him. Scorpion God. Okay, that seems like quite a nice hit. You can put minus one, minus one counters and draw cards. Amazing. Okay. Unleashed the Inferno doesn't even kill Avacyn. Oh, Avacyn's indestructible anyway. Of course she is. Why would she not be indestructible? Um. <coughs> Oh, Meteor Golem. Too bad it's Destroy and not Exile. Uh, so we do, we've got a block. Um, Let's block like this. We can actually survive another turn. Might as well see another 7 drop, see what I can get. Okay, good game. And do we need to hold Dire Tactics 
for Averson. If you do get fire tactics in your hand. I think I took out the Wind Reader Drake, which was going to draw him a card every turn and do three damage. So that, that seemed like a, re a reasonable decision for the Dire Tactics. Not everyone's going to hit Avis in every game. So, if we can, uh, yeah, we can do a turn three Junkyard Genius and get the Power Stone token. And we're on the draw, maybe so that might mean it's worthwhile to to uh, do a two drop. He's doing a one drop, so he's got um, a zero four wall. I'll go ahead and skip. And he's got quite a minor intensive ability on that. I can't imagine he'll he'll use that. He's gone for a two drop. Oh right, uh, non creature spell gives him a one one. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do nothing. That is an artifact. Just thinking. Ooh. A 1-1 one, one and that can get bigger. He sacrifices creatures. Fair enough. Alright, we will. Junkyard Genius. Um, Lumber Knot is basically a 4 4 creature. Or we could we could prob probably Momir for 5 next turn is the best move. We can keep the Unleash the Inferno in our back pocket. Oh, Pelt Collector. Okay, that can grow bigger. Um, do we trade off? I'm going to say no. Rip apart. We don't have white mana for that. We need do need green mana out. Uh, let's do the five point. Okay, 
cleaving reaper. Sure, do four, five, th five, three flying trample. Okay, sacrificing that to become a two, two. All right. Uh, this has got menace, hasn't it? No, no, it can give menace to every everything. No attacks. Trample is starting early. You really need to hit hit the good cards for it to be worth it. Because at this stage of the game, you're running out of um, staying power. You can't sort of play a land and Momir. Okay, this yeah, let's him draw cards if he attacks with a power one creature. Red, let's go for whoop. Yeah, let's try and do that properly. Right. Six. Um do we care about an ancient lumber knot? I think I'll I'll drop an island here. <laughs> Nightmare. Yeah. When we've got one swamp. <laughs> Great. So the Lumber Knot's l not looking too relevant at the moment. I'll probably just drop that next turn. He only did a five pointer there. Well, the nightmare is definitely pretty useless. I think I'd quite happily trade off there. Um, right, so, but I won't block that thing. Yep, six six trample is a bit, a bit nasty. There's a plains. Um, yeah, I think we'll read, unleash the inferno. Seven damage, excess damage. Yeah, mana value less than or equal to that amount of excess damage. Cool, that's mana value one. So. Unleash the Inferno on the Father of Vigor. Go ahead and do it in my own turn. And I think I may as well rip apart on this creature. And yep, swing in like that. Just it felt like a good use of the mana I had left over to just use the rip apart. Something solid, 5-5, five, five, Vigilance. Oh yeah, Mr. Orfeo, the Builder, just, um, just wins, doesn't it? Swings in 
and it should get double to 10, right? Cool, that's my third one of those. Right, we've got the all important turn three Arbalest engineers. We have a mountain and a forest, so uh, that can grab us the power stone. We can we even got dire tactics, and we'll just remember to hold on to this until my opponent gets out of sin. King Darien as well. Creature tokens gain hexproof and indestructible. That's very interesting. That can uh, everything that comes out of the Momir factory is a token. By the way, what have we got here? Goblin matron. Any goblin cards in the deck? Haha, <laughs> yes, because there's a changeling in the deck. I've got to say nice to that. Okay, did hit a swamp. Any permanent you control. Okay, yeah, that works. That ramps another land. So he's he's going to be back in the lead on mana. He can get a swamp and have all five colors as well. 
We might want to double. Wait, wait, why didn't you do that? Weird. Okay. Swamp here. Sulk and other tainted. Well, that's nice. Uh, I think I'll draw a card. I probably should drop Cabaretti Charm. Kill my power stone into the bargain. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a good move. I've hit my planes. Drop the cabaretty charm. Oh, Sangi of Vampire. Okay. You can hit the engineers. Goes well with uh, Savage Smash, doesn't it? But, uh, tell you what, we don't have double green, so we can't Savage Smash and King, Ga King Darian the same turn. Which is what I had in mind, basically, if I, if I do want to do some removal. Sunblind Angel flying, first strike. Vigilance, a lifelink. However, I can... Oh no, no, I can't croaking counterpart either. What am I talking about? Um, right, I'm going to copy something. Okay, well we could copy... Forceful Cultivator. Play the island. This can be discarded and we can flash it back. Um, I'm going to mow me for six, I think. That's the right move. And I think. Yeah, I, I, I ditch a Croaking Counterpart. Oh, that kills something. That's good. Uh, that's got First Strike. Swing with this one. Hey, it's gonna copy something. Oh. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? I wonder if that card is broken.
Surge Hacker Mech is a very nice vehicle indeed. I think that's only my second one. We'll go for a three drop. It's enchanted or equipped. So I have to enchant it or equip it. To make dwarves. He's got his power stone. Oh, okay, that's good timing. Except I need... I'm missing green for this thing. That's unfortunate. I think... I'm going to go in and attack. I'm going to mow mirror. I don't see myself using this spell, so I'm going to... face for zero damage. Oh nice. Um plus one plus one turn it comes into play I guess, yeah. be a 4-4, so I kind of want to trade this off for the Paladin, potentially. I think I'll do no blocks there. Nice hit. Uh, yeah, f I think, yeah, swing of the 5 3. Interesting. I mean, if he can get that working, fair play. A oh, big chunky wall there. He's hit seven mana now. He's 
Go on to the end step. Interesting. And he didn't do anything. Oh. I'm wondering. Yeah, maybe it didn't uh, work or something. Okay, let's go for seven pointer. Mills 10. Nice. Let's try all creatures, that's fair. That explains the previous turn. Uh, now, we could play Island, discard Unleashed Inferno, and do an 8 mana thing. We might get uh, the Archangel Avacyn. Cause it's, I guess it's too late now to. We, we never hit the forest, so. Bronted on nine nine. Not bad. He's got loads of cards though somehow. I guess he did s there was a turn he did uh he did nothing. He gets a six five. Drazi, right. So number eight. Cool. Two dinosaurs now. That's uh, he went for a nine mana thing, and yeah, he didn't get, he didn't definitely did not get the best one. Oh, scatter beam battalion. Uh, yeah, if you cast it, you get the copies. So he had two bad nine mana hits there. I think that suggests you probably stop at eight mana. Cool. All right. Yeah, pretty decent. Um, yeah. So, stop at eight mana seems to be the, uh, the the takeaway from that session. Because uh, yeah, the game game one, um, my opponent got Avacyn, who makes everything indestructible, and something else good as well. I think. Anyway, I think that is a video. So, uh, thanks for watching.